All right, all right, all right. We are about to start. I'm gonna quickly share on Facebook while I'm still having my computer in my office space and we will dive right in. I'm sharing inside Friends and Health Facebook group for your daily motivation and inspiration in the wellness journey. So far it is a public group. Go ahead and invite someone who you know they need this extra motivation and accountability. Most of us, we do know what to do, we just not always do it. And that's where accountability really comes very, very handy. Okay, that's what the Friends and Health Facebook group is about. And I am gonna share momentarily right there. Cool body workout. All levels. It is easier to type when I've got a good keyboard and a mouse. <laughs> All right, copy. Okay, let me see. I'm sharing inside Friends and Health. So here you go. Okay. Let me see if I can do a real quick a little bit of customer service let me see what i can do all right gather up gather up we are about to start all right all right folks so we are here all getting together for a workout so let me double check that we are in France and health as well and i think i'm just gonna have go ahead and share in my personal wall as well why not yippee i can see myself isn't it wonderful? Okay, so I'm gonna type in real quick full body workout. So let's go. I like how we motivate each other to do that. All right, folks. Get ready. I am gonna show you real quick what we are doing. And while I'm showing you what we're doing, I invite you to actually prepare the equipment, prepare yourself and think about modifications that you need to do. I will do my best to show some possibilities of the exercise. So I'm actually working and working out in the same room. This is my office space. I like this. Every time I have a Zoom room uh, conversation, I have my own intention right on in the background of me. Prove it, vibrant, <laughs> isn't that amazing? All right, folks, so let me know who is here, where you're from, are you live, are you in recording? And also let me know if you're ready. So go ahead and type in live, recording, Dallas, Texas for me, and of course I'm ready. I'm actually here on Zoom room and I'm watching you on Facebook, on social media. So wherever you are, let me know that you are here watching and ready. Today we are working out for a full body. It's about 25 to 30 minutes. Again, all possible levels that I can give in the time frame given. And this workout is designed for strength training and it's also great for weight loss. So please come in and let's do it. Whether you do your own workouts throughout the week, this is the unique workout that is designed by me for full body workout. I often hear muscle confusion because they're all different. There are so many varieties and this is a great complimentary workout you can incorporate in your movement. All right, live from Fairfield. Okay, very good. And 
let me see what else did I do I need to mention and folks if you would like reminders and especially recordings recordings I'm sending to everyone who subscribed to my updates through nadiatouch.com slash fitness and I'm going to type it in at least on social media so you can instantly subscribe yourself for those updates and also hi alona thank you for watching and hi bob i i know you will be working out alona are you working out with us or are you just taking a peek <laughs> so what we're doing today we have a full body workout 25 to 30 minutes you will be done definitely by two o'clock central time and i show modifications of all levels possible and also if you have some doubts if you need some consultation information guidance i do provide complimentary fitness assessment we will sit down one-on-one -on -one. i will ask you a few questions and i will give you the guideline what you need to do to reach your wellness goals all right folks how about we start so right now what i'm asking you to do two things number one is watch what's coming and prepare number two is prepare Actually, it's a part of a number one. <laughs> Prepare yourself in terms of equipment and uh, modifications that you know you will need to have for your own body. Number two, warm up. Especially if you just started without being warm, this is a few minutes chance for you to uh, have dynamic stretches, light movements, get your muscles, get your body going. So we will have two rounds each round we will repeat two times again it is a full body workout it's actually ideal if you do it twice with me on tuesday and friday because i do alter this workouts in the way we are covering everything in these two workouts so two rounds each exercise is about 40 seconds well not about 40 seconds long about 20 seconds in between depending if i want to give a little extra instructions i am uh, good with instructions and we have between three to four exercises each round so therefore it becomes about 25 to 30 minutes workout when you have your water my recommendation is to have tiny sips throughout the workout and then when you're done with the workout then have your full bottle of water because we also have some cardio movements and with cardio movements and the full time in with water it's really not very comfortable all right, folks, are you ready? Now you can type it in for me, ready. And here's what we're getting ready for. I'm gonna show you real quick, I repeat twice, each movement that we are going to produce. So the first one, first round is leg bridge. You can actually grab dumbbells if you like. We will go with alternate leg. I'm gonna lie down on the mat, move my shoulders, pick up my hips, Feet close to my butt and I'm going to go one leg at the time, tap with my glutes and go back. If you like, you can hold your dumbbells on the hips for a little extra weight. Your goal is to really lift up your hips all the way to the ceiling. Next exercise, and again, it will be 40 seconds each. For the chest, now that's where my pen gets on a piece of paper, for the chest, you're going to have push-ups with your glutes in. Try to push up all the way towards the floor and all the way towards the ceiling. I will also be giving you cues how to breathe. Breathing is really important in the workouts. So the next one is upper crunch. We will switch on the tummy. And this one is familiar, probably especially from the school. Hands behind your head, but do not help with your hands. Keep your elbows sideways and try to reach your chin towards the ceiling. So instead of this, I invite you to open your elbows and focus on moving chin towards the ceiling. All right, so the next one is mountain climber. It's really tricky. Maybe you can be on the counter, maybe even by the wall. So the one option is to be here. Just go alternate. You're actually in a plank, shoulders on top of your wrists. You can go faster. For intermediate, you can find something like a solid chair. Right now, I've got a counter in front of me, so I can do it on the counter. For beginner, maybe you can even have a wall and really focus on crunching knees towards the chin. So it's really up to you, especially the first round. If you're just starting, 
I recommend to go just a little bit more gentle and the second round we, we repeat. You already know, maybe you can lift up the weight and have slightly heavier. Round number two, one-legged squat. That's where I need you to go ahead and find the chair. You don't have to do on the chair, but chair is good to help prevent the form. So think about squatting. I move my hips behind my knees. Try to keep your weight behind your feet, behind your toes and behind your knees. One-legged squat. I'm going to put my feet together a little closer. Lift up this leg in the air or just step with your toes on the floor, but really keep your weight on the hip, on the leg that is working, okay? Also, what I want you to watch, it's really a tricky one, so form is really important. Watch the hip. When it gets too hard, we're trying to help by hip moving sideways. Square it in, that's what I mean. Square your hips in, so I do not want to see it sink and hips on the side. Then we will switch the leg. Next one, I will ask you for dumbbells, overhead tricep extension. I'm actually just going to be on my knees. Keep dumbbells together, keep elbows forward. We'll just go all the way up and all the way down, okay? Next one is toe touches. This is our core as well, and kind of alternate today. Upper body, lower body, and core. So for toe touches, I'd like you, this will be probably an advanced variation where you lift your legs and you lift your upper body and reach towards the toes. Maybe you can lift your legs and you can just lift your shoulders off the floor or for beginner, keep your legs straight up and just pretend that you're about to touch the toes. Okay, your variation. And the last one, we will go with our favorite skater. All right, with a skater, I want you to watch the knee. This is not, not good. Keep the body on top of the knee. All right, folks. We will finish together with a plank. Today is our next month. We will start with one minute plank. Are you ready? Type for me, ready? And let's work out. So for the first one, if you like to grab dumbbells, one-legged bridge, we will be alternating. Oh, yes, I need my timer. It's my cell phone. <laughs> All right. I also did mention that you will have one minute transition between each round, so you will have some time to uh, grab a sip of water and type some comments for me. Which one's your favorite in challenging? All right, folks, go ahead and get in the position. You adjust your shoulder blades, feet close to your butt. I'm gonna be, put my feet close to each other and we will go alternate one leg at a time. Try not to rest your glutes on the floor, just step and go up. In three, two, one, and let's go. Breathing, every time you lift the weight, in this case, I'm lifting my glutes up, breathe out. So it's really important into your move, into the tension, use the exhale. Breathing is really crucial in the exercise. Try to lift all the way up, 10 seconds. And just lightly tap and go all the way up. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo. All right, we've got 20 second transition. Our next one is push up. So you get ready. You can even push up on the wall or on the counter. The main goal is to have your shoulders on top of your wrists. Three, two, one, let's go. Push up is for the chest. You will notice how the muscles of your chest are really getting the tension. Inhale when you go down, exhale when you go up. For the classic push up, have your hands in the middle of your chest. 
17 seconds. Ten. Ooh, good for upper body. And three, two, one, and relax. All right, two, oh, shake your arms. All right, upper crunch is coming up in just 10 seconds. So think about your chin towards the ceiling. All right, I'm gonna bend my knees just a little bit. Three, two, one, let's go. Breathe out when you lift. Try to raise your shoulder blades off the floor. Again, hands are not helping, hands are not doing anything. Try to keep your elbows sideways, looking out. Watch the time. <laughs> and breathe. And three, two, one, and relax. Ooh. All right. And we are to a mountain climber. Again, for basic you can do on the floor, for intermediate you can do on the counter. You can also just alternate one at a time. For advanced, keep faster. All right, are you ready? Find your beauty for three, two, one, let's go, 40 seconds. Especially when it gets hard, it's very tempting to start moving our butt back and shoulders off the wrists. Bring yourself back to the plank form. My hair is in my mouth. <laughs> You're halfway. Breathe, exhale every time the knee moves towards the chin. Engage your core, check your form. That's seven seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, folks, how was it for the first one? One minute transition, walk it out. I'm sitting still, but you don't have to sit still. Get a quick sip if you need, and write me a quick comment. Which one did you like in this set? Which one is your favorite? Ooh, and that is something, all right. I like the crunches and I actually like mountain climber. I don't know why, they're hard. I guess it's one of those that are hard, but I really like them. All right, which ones are your favorite? We've got 20 seconds. I'll do my best today to keep the time the right way. Okay, getting ready for a leg bridge, alternate leg bridge. So maybe this time around you can have a little harder. Maybe put dumbbells on your hips. All right, guys, get ready. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Check your shoulders and go. Breathe out every time leg goes up. All the way up, and don't let your butt rest on the floor. Tap, and all the way back, so you're constantly in the air. Don't swing your hips. Keep them so squared in, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo, with all my workouts, my legs are feeling it. Nice. All right, switch into push-ups. Okay, again, find your push-up, maybe a little bit harder this time around. We are not gonna do chest after this. Again, it is a full body workout, gonna cover a lot of muscles. Let's go, ready? Three, two, one, let's do it. The best push-up is to find 90 degree in your elbow when you go down. 
Again, use your breath. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your butt in if you're on your knees. You certainly don't have to be on your knees. I believe I didn't even show that. You can pick up your knees and do the push-ups from your plank. I want you to focus 10 seconds on your form. In my workouts, focus on your form. Five, three, two, one, and you're done. Relax. Oh boy. All right, folks. We are switching to upper crunch. Isn't it awesome just to go? Upper crunch. Think about chin towards the ceiling, elbows out. Ready? You're ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. I know you're watching, but I don't see you. So it becomes really funny to me. I'm talking to myself like I'm talking to you. Yeah, that's the beauty of virtual. That creates a new character <laughs> of yourself. All right. 15 seconds. This one is really hard for me not to watch forward because I gotta watch the time. And five, three, two, one, and relax. All right, folks. I think this is our last before the cardio of this round. So we are into the mountain climber. Now you know what it is. Choose the way you're going to do it. Ready? You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Again, in the mountain climber, watch your shoulders on top of your wrists. You're in a plank. Squeeze the primate towards the spine. Move your butt in. Breathe out every time you crunch. <laughs> 20 seconds. And you can really breathe, nobody is watching. 10 seconds. As much as loud as you want. And three, two, one, and done. Woo! All right, get up, walk it out. Walk it out, help recover. Help your heart rate go down gently. All right, folks, one minute transition. Type for me. Which one of you challenging? Oh my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> my challenge is my push up and the mountain climbers. <sighs> Which one is yours? After you type in the comment, get your chair ready. Halfway. Mountain climber in the crunch. Okay. That's interesting. Crunch comes to me, I'm fine. With mountain climber for sure. All right, thanks for the comments. Good. All right, folks. We are awesomely moving to the second round. The first one is our one-legged squat. So again, it's very tricky. If you can't keep leg in the air, don't worry. Tap with your toes right next to your foot, but the weight is on the standing leg, soft knee in the standing leg. Do not move knee forward. Keep it there. Sit and move. Sit and move, okay? Hip, do not sink into the hip, square it in. Are you ready? You're ready. Three, two, one, now let's go. Inhale down, exhale up. When you go up, squeeze your glutes. Finish the move, not halfway, all the way. See when I'm squeezing, even my low back has slight arch because I'm fixing my form every time. Halfway. Put the weight on the standing leg, square your hips in. Watch the knee. It's a good, good exercise for the muscles around the knee to strengthen our knees. Three, 
two, one, and relax. All right, folks. All right, switch legs. The chair helps if you put your knees almost next to the chair. There is no way you, you need to feel the back of your knee next to the chair. So see how my form with my knee keeps really ideal. All right, folks, switch your leg. Ready, ready, three, two, one, let's go. You certainly don't have to sit on the chair. This is just reference for your form. My focus is the form, so I want you to get it perfectly. Check your hips, especially if there is a weaker hip, you might tend to sink it on the side, to weak it somehow, to get through the move. No, actually, what I recommend, to start with the weaker hip first, 10 seconds. Make sure you feel the chair behind your knee. And three, two, one, and relax. Whew, this probably is the most challenging. Next one is tricep extension. You can certainly, if you need a little bit of break, seems like quite a cardio today. You can even sit on the chair. But really make sure you focus on your form. Elbows forward, slightly in front of your head. Get ready. Ready? You're ready. Three, two, one, let's go. I actually keep dumbbells next to each other. My hands are together. It, help, it helps not to move my elbows. Helps keep the form. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Try not to round your low back, especially if you have the tendency halfway. Keep elbows in the same place. Try not to move them back and forth. So imagine your nails are, your elbows are nailed in the same place. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Gently release. Whoo, folks, wow. Toe touches is next. I remember showing you a bunch of variations. So the basic would be where your feet towards the ceiling, and you're just gently trying to lift the shoulders off the floor like this. Actually, let's keep arms straight. For intermediate, you can certainly lower legs towards the floor and lift up. For advance, all the way and lift up all yourself all the way. Even for me, it's really advanced and I can't really do it well with my tailbone. All right, folks. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, there's certain exercises just because your body is the way it is, you just can't do. In my case, I've got a broken tailbone, so any kind of sit ups and leg, leg lowers are just not possible because of the structure of my sit bones. 15 seconds. You can certainly do it. 10. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh. Ooh. Who is feeling a nice chin muscles and working on this exercise? Yes, folks. Okay, our favorite and challenging skater. Find your variation. You can just walk sideways. You can hop. You can even go low and touch the floor. You ready? You ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Again, breathing. Breathe out. When you twist on the side, you certainly don't have to twist. You can just look forward. Or you can nicely twist on the side, get those arms moving, get the core engaged. 25 seconds. Oh, folks. Is it just me? Or oh, it's really intense today? 15 seconds. Get it all out. We sit so much. Middle of the day. Perfect energy producer. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. All right, folks. One minute transition. Walk it out. Don't stand still. 
<sighs> Active recovery. Help your heart rate go down gently. <sighs> Folks, if you have any questions on the fitness, on nutrition, on mindset, on self-discipline, on time management, self-management, how you live your day, how to start your morning in the way that your life works, ask me. I can address most of your questions in my new podcast, Ask Nadia, which instantly uploaded to YouTube. If you subscribe to my YouTube, not <laughs> the Natural Power 100, you can actually get an instant update when I upload those videos. And uh, you can watch them at your convenience. So I just typed in the name of the YouTube channel. It's hard to talk after cardio. <laughs> All right. 200 mountain climbers. Woohoo! All right. How about a one legged squat? Let's grab the chair. The time is up. Without further ado, our last round. If you feel, oh, I can handle it, grab the dumbbells on the sides. You can also have leg in the air or you can just step the toes or you can even maybe set the foot in the floor but still focus on one leg. We just wanna focus on one leg, one hip. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, let's go. And I'm close to the chair so I can watch my knee Leaning against the chair, it helps my form. You see how my knee is almost not moving forward. That's the goal. I want to work on the muscle, not the knee. The proper form is really important. It helps us prevent injuries while still working on the muscle strength because that's what we want to do. 10 seconds. Inhale down, exhale up. Watch your hips. Three, two, one, release. All right. Yeah, when legs are involved, cardio follows. All right, let's reach a leg in 10 seconds. Whew. Ready, ready. Three, two, one, let's go. The other thing, make sure you keep looking forward. So no need to bend over forward. I know it's very tempting, but we want to look forward. We want to have upright form with our shoulders. 10 seconds. This is proper form. Keep mind your low back. Go ahead and stop. It also what happens that we arch low back quite a bit. Keep in mind of flattening your low back. Didn't have enough time to give you instructions. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, folks. I'm going to sit for tricep overhead extension. It's up to you. You can stand, engage your core. You can sit on the floor. But because I'm closer to you, I'm going to sit on the chair. Okay. So get your dumbbells together. All the way down, all the way up. You see how my elbows looking forward, slightly in front of my head. Are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Inhale down, exhale up. All the way down, all the way up. Okay. Breathe, focus, don't give up, don't give up, keep your form. So important, especially when it gets hard. Three, two, one, and release. Watch how I'm releasing safely. Some of us, when it gets done, we jerk the weight. No, with control all the way. All right, folks, on the floor for toe touches. Now you know what it is. Find your way. Now let's do it. 
straight arms, straight legs, touch towards the toes. You can certainly have your legs towards the floor as well. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, let's do it. Really beneficial for our front neck muscles. But try to keep your neck neutral. Keep your shoulders off the floor when you go up. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, and release. Woo, folks. All right, get ready. We're on the floor for the skater. Now you know, find the skater that works for you. Know your limit, which means modify if you need to, but also know your edge and push harder. Ready? You're ready. Three, two, one, let's go. This is your last chance. If you have anything left, do it now, especially the cardio. Did you bring some stress? Hit it out, skate it out, breathe it out. One of the benefits of exercise, help a stress reduction. That's it, now's your chance. Prove it to yourself, 15 seconds, that you can do it. Push a little harder, 10 last seconds, whatever you need to do. So you can be proud of yourself for six, three, two, one and you're done. Whew. All right, folks. Well, you're done for one minute, then we'll do the plank. <laughs> okay, right for me. Which one is your challenging? After you walk it out, after you have a sip of water, look at you, David, Rebecca, Jolene. Are you working out or you're just watching us? <laughs> I'm always curious who is actually working out or who is just speaking. <laughs> but if you're picking, the link is on the very top to follow and get updates. The link is natitash.com forward slash fitness. All right. And if you're picking, we are having full body workout that I teach complimentary every Tuesday, Friday at 1.15. Right here is actually through webinar. But when the internet is friendly, we share inside Friends and Health Facebook group. And again, if you sign up for updates, I send a reminder and they are recording. All right. V ups better second set. Very nice. One leg squat, very challenging to keep from go down significantly. Yes. And not collapse in the chair, isn't it? <laughs> All right, folks. The beginning of the month, we are starting with the one minute. Who stayed with me all month last month until two minutes? That was awesome. Okay, folks. So here's what we're going to do for this time around. I'm going to tell you each five seconds. Unfortunately, I didn't have to do it for those who don't like to hear the time. But because so many of us are watching. So in the plan, the main goal is to watch your shoulders and up of your wrists. Also, squeeze your butt in. So I don't want to see the tabletop. There's not much core happening, even though it is. Squeeze your hips in. Also, you can have a high plank by lifting the knees and having your legs straight. Also, make sure to have your flat upper back. Some of us have shoulder blades and thighs sticking towards the floor. Keep it flat. And you can also have forearms, but the concept is the same. Nice, solid line, okay? All right, folks, are you ready? We'll stay here for one minute. Watch your progress. Track your seconds every time you hear, you will be surprised how fast your body is progressing. Okay, starting in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, give you good instruction. Should just check, check, you, check your four and five seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not easy, Tam, to work out and talk, especially when I talk non stop. 15 seconds. Oh, my hair, my hair. 20. Beautiful. When it gets hard, start checking in. How are you feeling? 25. 
How's each muscle doing? I literally go to 30 seconds. Check my shoulders on top of my elbows, 35. Check my shoulder blades, 40. Move my chest towards the shoulders, towards my back, 45. Flat legs, 50. Squeeze your tummy towards the spine, 55. Almost there, and three, two, one, and relax. All right, folks, this was one minute plank. How did you do? Tell me. For some of you, I do recommend grab your own timer, start with me, and keep standing until you're done. Probably by the time I stop talking, you will be done. <laughs> I know some of us can do two minutes, three minutes. Somebody said five minutes? Yeah, so we are growing here in strength, endurance, and stamina. That's what this is for. All right, folks, if you have any questions, thank you so much for watching. Hi, Rebecca, thank you for joining. And I hope this was beneficial for you. This was a full body workout, 30 minutes, all levels, complimentary here Tuesday, Friday, 1.15 Central. Again, if you want updates, 2.30, awesome. If you want updates through my website, nadetash.com forward slash fitness. Also, I'm going to put it into YouTube, The Natural Power 100. But the recording, I'm going to email those who signed up. If you would like to have a complimentary fitness assessment and would like to learn what to do for you, for your goals, for your body type, let me know. Connect with me. I will be happy to do that. We also do teach weight loss group classes for those who work up, who work full time. We teach early in the morning, three times a week. Ask me how, I will let you know. All right, folks, thank you so much for being here with me. This was a lot of fun. I do like when we communicate throughout the workout, but I know I talk the most because I got to. <laughs> thank you for being with me here. Be healthy, be blessed, and now is your time to drink a lot of water. Bye-bye <laughs> now.